And the emotional response to love is usually the result of a show of affection or favor. And these seem to be the emotions with which we start life. Then as we grow up, many everyday things and social situations become associated with these primary stimuli, partly by a process called conditioning. And so many things and people cause us to respond emotionally. I know, yeah, yeah. Damn, that shit's blazing. Yo, that's hard, son. Dale, you can feel the heat like crazy up here. Like, I want to go out on the deck. Yo. Yo, I bet. Yo, you can feel that heat from that bonfire on the porch. That is so perfect, though. Like, that heats the porch. That's awesome, bro. This shit crazy. Rondo the kid, Mount Man. Yes, sir. Mount Man, come and soon with this. Can't create this. No work. Fuck with us. Big bonfire, big dick, big, 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 big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. This uh, particular bud, I picked a little early because they had a little mold in the bottom. Because we smell the mold, dude. No, we're not. Because we know that we're not. And I smoked some homegrown, that's all I can tell you. But sure you ever remember that ass game on his channel and go make it on my nigga said, he said, my baby is fine, she wanted her car, don't fuck around and play with her, boy. <laughs> my shawty in the room, when that ass didn't be when the cops gonna make it on, though. Let's take us a ticket to see him get sticky, I tell you don't play with her, boy. <laughs> the hanging with stupid by the way, the movie, she never gonna play with her, boy. <laughs> my baby is fine, she wanted her car, don't fuck around and play with her, boy. <laughs> like, I can play that shit with my girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You know you be like, they are wasting my time. My bitch is a dime. <laughs> <laughs> my life is a crime. <laughs> my baby is fine. She one of a kind of a Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I show you every one of them. You be the one that comes to my nigga. You stick on some tickets. You sticky. You sticky. I tell you don't play with that. Her hair number still be my fucking the movie. She never gonna play with that. My baby is fine. She one of a kind of a girl. I have a good feel about this. Even though this is crap the long run, this is not, uh, you know, potentially the, the best of the batch. I got a good feeling. Damn! Bro, smell this smell this shit, man. Remember how, like, bad it smelled two weeks ago? Go smell this shit now. Why does it smell bad? It's way into the pot. Uh, I'll explain it, but yo, smell this shit now. Damn, shit's so like damn. <laughs> like, like, wow. damn. Wow. Because uh, two or three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, wow. Wow. I had a problem with uh, books. I I'd like to give any advice to anybody out there. <clears throat> One uh, rookie mistake I made when rookie. I was growing this batch. Fucking rookie. 
Uh, yeah, ro rookie like shit. <laughs> so I, I had them. I had, my, my, I had two plants. They're growing in some uh, nice fabric pots. They're, they're growing strong on my indoor setup. And for whatever reason, you know, I, I felt like getting some natural sunlight might be better than my lights. So in the you middle, shouldn't. in the middle of the day, I will let it out, let out in the natural sun. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you said I should. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> but yeah. A, a so what happened? What happened to him? Man, I got fucking bugs. Bugs took over my shit, man. Damn. Is that look like I got a beer already? I don't think you do. It's too low. It might be outside. It's outside. Gotta be outside. Let me check it for you. Uh, 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 so, yep, you're right. My name is Bob and I'm you talking about This is a lot. Bullfrogs is out? Yeah, bullfrogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a lot of potential bugs that can fuck your shit up. But, uh, yeah, that's that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know. What they'll do is, I mean, they just. Mm -hmm. You still open some fire? Yeah, you can. But what these aphids will do is, they multiply like shit, and they eat the underside of the leaves, and they stick up the sap. They like feed on the sap. And they'll basically kill all your leaves early. That's fucked up, man. Well, no, you know what? I got lucky. You want to hear this? Uh, hey, it was stupid, but fuck it, the movie, she never gonna play with you. My baby is fresh, whatever, can't fuck around, play with her. My shorty, you're a real one, I ain't getting big, I ain't gonna be on it. That nigga funny, man. You get it. But, um, aphids, man. I mean, I feel like, um, rookie move. I mean, you learn, you live, learn you spread your knowledge, and hopefully nobody does that um, man, to their plants. I'm okay. I'm, I'm not upset about it because, um, they, they actually, you know, they came late. Um, so they, they didn't really hurt my They ain't even get them, right? I your mean, plant fought it on its own. <clears throat> are we about to smoke this shit? What's going on? We, we are. Where's we the, are. where's the man? So, this is one bud I, I, I cropped early. Show it close to the camera. It's closer. You got to get close, man. This shit is far back. It, it, it's hanging on the screen. There you go. There you go. Show that <laughs> thing. Show yeah, that thing. Uh, that shit uh, smells good. It. it smells delicious. Just how it looks. It looks like cheesecake. And it smells like such. Yeah, been hanging in a nice dark closet for three days. And, uh, like all gay niggas. So no, I'm, <laughs> all right, I'm being funny. And, and here's a test run. You need Ooh. a torch? I got a torch right there on the porch. Yes, sir. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. Perfect. I'll be right back. Me pictures of that move on and told the niggas and shit. What do y'all think about this um um Kareem Abdul Jabbar? Um I don't know what I'm not saying this right. Kareem. Gilbert Arenas. What's his name? Um The tall nigga that hated on Lil Dicky in the show. Anyway, he got a heart problem. He's doing commercials now, spreading the word. I mean It's like the easiest check in the fucking world, bro. My nigga played basketball, and now he gets to just chill. You know what I mean? I wonder if his heart really fucked up or not. I think he probably open about that shit. You know? But I don't know. I'm just, I'm just poking, man. I'm a poker. I just poke around. <laughs> The high's not bad, but I, I some bullshit weed. Was that some bullshit weed? 
No, it's not bullshit. What does it taste like? Garbage? The taste is not great. <laughs> it's it. not fruity. It's not bad. It's not like that rubber shit we were talking about in the 90s. In DC. You gonna pack me a hit? Or that yeah, boo? So, you know what it is, is, um, I just, I had to crop it early. When you, when you crop it a little too early, like, you're not letting it, the, the um, oh, what's it fucking called? Uh, you're not letting the, the trichomes. Uh, you're not letting the It's trichomes. like statutory rape of a, um, weed plant. You're just not letting the trichomes mature to the right rate. It's a, like statutory rape in a weed plant. Uh, I, I guess the best way you could equate this is like eating a fucking uh, a, a plum or a fucking uh, a peach or avocado, whatever fruit. Oh yeah. Too early. It just didn't mature enough. You're right. So it's got a little more of that earthy taste because it didn't mature. The high is pretty good though. Not bad. Why? Why do you think the mold? Where the mold come from? Cause why is it rotting like that? Mold comes from a, can come from a lot of reasons, but. But I'm saying in your setup. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, what should I avoid? So my system to avoid mold, I've been pretty fucking good with. But you still got mold. Yeah, I mean, in the very last stage. Um, but I'm scared. I don't want mold at the last stage. So. Basically, uh, I'm in fabric pots. Fabric, fabric pots. First of all, you're growing weed. Don't grow in fucking like. Uh, uh, don't go to Home Depot and get like a plastic big fucking pot. That, that's fucking retarded. Pause. <laughs> Pause for retarded. Okay. Or it's just dumb. retarded is gay now. I don't know. I don't know if people will like like. Why you home. pause retarded though? But, but anyway, no. Nah, so retarded ain't gay. Basically, you know, everybody who, who grows indoors uses fabric pots. Fabric pots will allow two things. When you're watering, it'll allow the water to um, <clears throat> allow the water to drip through and drain properly. He's packing a bong right now. But it'll also allow um, oxygen to readily get throughout your, 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 your plant. And the beautiful thing about using fabric pots, when you're having oxygen coming through the, the pot, it, it does something called like air pruning. So basically the roots of your plants if you're using a regular pot, they'll get like condensed. They won't like spread, and it, it just—it's not healthy for the plant. Uh, with with the fabric pots, felt fabric pots, the oxygen—the more oxygen is your plant, the better. Duh. Mm -hmm. But the oxygen also is what's called it air prunes the tips of the roots, which causes it to spread out more, <coughs> mm -hmm. rather than get stuck. Uh, get stuck. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Because so, the plastic doesn't allow oxygen to flow through it. Use the fabric pots, your plant, you'll have a, a much healthier and larger yield. Yeah. Alright, bro. Here we go. I'll just cut some nice. I'm about to say, this is the longest packing of a bong I've ever witnessed on the audio broadcast. Welcome to the Rhino Show Podcast, episode 102. Look at the crystals. 48, 9. The crystals are not motherfucking though. <laughs> hey, let's look at the crystals. Let's look at the crystals. Let's judge it. Let's judge the crystals. <laughs> Where's the magnifying glass? We don't have the magnifying <laughs> glass, but this we're gonna leave these crystals. We're gonna try to judge these crystals. Let's judge these crystals. I'll leave that the crystals. I don't this, see this any crystals. You, you I don't see any crystals. I have to look close to see the crystals. <laughs> oh, I do see the crystals. I see crystals. I see crystals. Come okay. on, man. That shit is frosty. Time to smoke the crystals. Time to smoke them. Don't, don't lie. That shit is frosty. I'm gonna test it. <laughs> 
Don't get me high with the little uh, PC Peter. Hey, Rondo, I didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm, I'm being sound. I'm being real. <laughs> Bro, that motherfucker, man. <laughs> so, how was it, man? You can just delete, delete I mean, I don't know what's up with that. Like, I don't know how to judge the half because I've been already had. The, the taste but is so earthy, right? The taste, it never tastes the weed tastes like that. Yeah, well. Like, it tastes like a plant. Like, it tastes like... Well, you know, we, we did... Very earthy. We, we smoked it a little early. That's what I feel like. Yeah, That's yeah. what I felt like when I, I smoked I really, it. I really you want it a little longer. And that hit don't like, like, it didn't like. <coughs> <coughs> you know how you hit a hit. That shit. Like, that shit kick in. Like, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, them levels to it start hitting you. The levels to that is like. Did you feel something? Yeah, I smoked. <laughs> no, I definitely smoked some weed. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like right, you know so what I mean? Like I, because I, I was already high and drink drunk pretty much. Like I drank like let, 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 let's six or seven let, beers. Let's explain to the audience about how important it is to cut your buzz at the right time, right? <laughs> no, I mean like when I don't get sick or nothing. Like that was um, funny, man. <laughs> no, nah, I mean like so like I I had to cut this bud early buds. Huh? I had to cut this bud early because you know early you know, buds. The camera can see it, but early buds. <laughs> early buds. Yeah, the camera's to the left. You right? So the left. The left. The camera's right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. but um, uh, I. I yeah, Rot, you know, the, the top was still good. And we and, smoked um, the rot. Basically, uh, did we smoke rot? This was the only but did we rot smoke rot that I saw this rot happening? Did we smoke rot? No, we did not. He was not trying to answer that. Yeah, you got that on YouTube. We did not smoke rot. He was not trying to so answer I, that. I cut, I cut this, I cut this butter early. I knew it was early, and um, but basically the uh, the, the, the trichomes. You know, they're still a little glassy, man. We'd be lucky if they're cloudy. And uh, the, the high I get for this... My wife is so happy, though. It's moment. definitely more awake. Nothing, nothing said it. You know she's so happy that I'm, like, hanging with my friend right Who now. Who is? My wife. I don't. Yeah, man. This shit, man. Bro, I'm out of the how you know what your wife's like? It's, right it's kind of crazy. How you know what your wife is thinking right now? It's just kind of crazy. Nah, man, what you turning for? Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah, this. He oh. fucked it up. He fucked it up. Yeah, he yeah. fucked it up. Oh, um, uh, um, I'm saying, um, because it's gonna turn because the charger. All this. I, don't know, I was just looking at the car. It's the OCD thing, I guess. It's the same thing for me. It's the same thing for me. But um, I'm like. 
This helps. It does help, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my life, my life, all of a sudden is better. Yeah, I care about you. Like, I care about your OCD. Like, as a good friend, as a good friend, I care about you. Bro, bro, it's not that serious, man. Your OCD affects me. Like, I care bro, about it. It's not that serious. But um, for real though, like um, I know she's like. I said it's just kind of funny because, like, you spend time with... I don't know. I did it in reverse. I did my marriage and my life kind of in reverse because, like, I watched all these shows growing up, and it was just always, like, the men, like, tired of their wives. So I spent time with my wife in the beginning, and she's tired of me. Hold that thought. Sorry, bro. Like, he don't get it. Like, that's a, that's a perfect time. It's a perfect time jump off and walk off the show. I bet you forgot, man. I didn't forget. <laughs> I totally forgot. Damn. Let me count. It's about th- it's about it's about seventeen mosquitoes in here. Seventeen mosquitoes, bro. It's about time we pull out the racket on. It's about time we pull out the racket. I'm about to get us a salt gun. We're gonna be pow. This shit's gonna be hot like fucking lava, bro. Hey, put it right on. Right on the couch, with it. No, right here. Oh, well, it's the same. This is your natural right? I don't care, man. All right, All right. I'm a black person. Bro, don't eat that right now. That's, that's, what, that cool that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. Bro, no, no. That shit's gonna be loud. Man. Ain't that what she said, though? She was trying to entice you. <laughs> look, at, look at him being smart, bringing up like topics. <laughs> you know what topics is? Yeah, I had it before. Oh, bro, that's dope. Where'd you have topics at? Is it pita bread? No, topics is like. Well, bro, I never had topics. Man, topics is. Uh, 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 bro, it's like you're just getting. It's like you're a glutton. You're just like at a restaurant. They don't give you one full meal of anything. Oh, I know they, what that is. They give you 20 fucking... But I love that scene in The Grinch. Remember when The Grinch? Nah, I don't think that's in The Grinch. He went to that event. Uh, and Jim Carrey was playing The Grinch and they were stuffing shit in his mouth. They kept giving him <laughs> cheese. It was toppings. It was every little piece of everything. And they kept giving him... It was a bunch of random people who made a pot. It was like... Made everything they made. Topps is like classy fucking like golden corral. <laughs> but I'm doing it though. Bro, have you ever had I've heard this bomb of shit. Uh, fucking uh it's like it's like barbecue uh barbecue uh, uh, barbecue nuts? <laughs> Brazilian barbecue. Brazilian nuts? These motherfucking nuts. Maybe <laughs> Whoa, whoa, <laughs> did you just Man, what? You, Don't you present them nuts to me. You keep going on like like the deep nuts jokes. I don't know where they're going from lately. It's a deep smudge joke. You know, if you want to start a deep nuts battle, don't do it, babe. Whoa. Pause. <laughs> I don't, actually. Now that I've thought about it, <laughs> I don't want to do that with you. I would never say these nuts when, again. When I was in high school, I regret I bringing was, it I up was to in you. A battle with a friend. No, 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 no. And I don't want no problem. Turn it on terrible, a terrible, terrible thing. Did you rape him or something? Like, what happened? Eric was a D-Nuts Did you end up fucking him? No. Okay, that's no, what I'm scared it, it of. It was just a D's nuts battle, bro. It was just a D's nuts battle. But I don't want to battle you with my nuts. I'm good. I, I, get, I get that. Not with these nuts. But, but let me explain to the audience. It, the audience might be curious. When Whoa, I'm back curious? <laughs> Look. First of all, first of all, these nuts are a joke, okay? It's complicated now, though, man. You can't complicate these nuts. These nuts? <laughs> these nuts is tiny. Yeah, you keep talking about your so, nuts. So, 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 you keep trying to, like, get me from going to Stop talking to me about your nuts, man. No, I'm not. I'm talking about You're the telling joke me about your nuts. nuts. It's timeless. You can say these nuts are tiny. Everybody thinks it's funny. <laughs> Yo, you're disgusting, bro. You're a nasty man. Everybody thinks it's funny. You're sick, bro. Whatever. I feel you. No, you're right. You're right. Everybody thinks it's funny. That's why 
I brought it up, and you said you don't know where it's coming from, but you just said everything is fine. Right, so but let me, okay. Let me go back to these nuts. What? Pause. You don't even I know what you were talking about so before. Cold, man, man. Hold on. Just, hey, hey, hey. Don't I blame me for, for putting a D's nuts joke for you forgetting <laughs> what you was talking about. It's not that. It's not that press. Back to the D's nuts. Pause. What were you talking about? See why I don't make jokes no more? Because I make jokes and it become the whole story. I well, fucked you up, right? I fucked you up you with. Fuck me a little bit, but not really. I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll find, I'll find, I'll find my, I'll find my uh, original thought. Or just find a new thought. I really don't. Uh, uh-uh, look at these. Wait, look at the culture barriers that Dave Chappelle was able to breach. <laughs> I mean, with ease, with the money of Comedy Central. What is this called again? What's what? What's this called again? What? Because you definitely hyped it up. Oh man, it's just a, a new uh, flatbread pizza. I saw a concert. Maybe you just overcooked it, but a little bit. But no, this really, is really. like hype. Up by you. No, no, no. You over <laughs> this motherfucking piece of bread. Yo, yo, like it. It's, it's so good, it. but it's a piece of. This is the best part of it, the middle part. <laughs> Man. I need this part because, like, I need the whole part. I need this part because, like, this part. I'm oh, sorry. This oh, part is oh. bread. And this half, part. Half or a <laughs> of cheese cooked out. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad, bro. That's what I mentioned. Like, yo. I'd say a third of the cheese. My bad, man. Yo, that's funny as shit, bro. Yeah, so. That's like, funny. You ate it too? Dang. <laughs> no, I had the original w- without all the filling melted out. I thought it was pretty fucking good. Who said the original? Like, I don't got the original. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. Oh, damn. You got half the original. That's half the original. <laughs> Man, that's what I mean. Well, man, what we talking about this episode now? What now? What's going on now? Man, I, I, I was talking about how excited I am about, like, how open it is, uh, our country to grow. We talking about this again? No, we we'll on this topic. Yeah, that's pretty much all you want to talk about right now, huh? Uh, uh, I'm just looking at my, 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 my pretty little half of you, man. I'm looking at all 38 of these mosquitoes in your house. <laughs> <laughs> they all in the wall, like, waiting in your chat. Something like the heat. Yeah, man. Well, we in the country, man. That's what she said. They out here. All right. So, 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 give me a topic, man. You know what's going on in the fucking world? My phone is right there. That's a problem. We're in fucking war, man. Are we? Well, we're not. But Who's at war? Other countries. Everybody Other countries. Who the fuck is it? Work. Russia and Ukraine. But like, man, we're in a, a proxy war. Does everybody know what a proxy war is? Do you? Yeah. What is it? It's basically like um, chess. <laughs> a proxy war is. I was going to play chess with you live on the pod, too. A, a proxy war is a war that. Some power is influencing or inflecting action. Oh, so it's like a decent nice uh, joke, but a real life? One, Swinging my dick around? One, one certain... Uh, uh, Dropping uh, it over the table. One entity is... Um, one entity...
Christianity is a certain influence to affect an yeah. outcome of a war. Cool. Like Teddy and... Um, so like that's what a proxy war is. So like... You ain't never seen a snowball? Hold on, let me give you the, the second part of the definition. Without getting directly involved. That's a proxy war. Yeah, that's obvious. So, we're giving certain things assistance to help a uh, uh, one side of the war without yeah. getting directly involved. So we still have a war. What's that? So we still have a war. Yeah, the fucking world's been at war forever. <laughs> I'm gonna say that last time. Um, no, um, nah, really, man? Really, yeah, man? Are you sure? Yeah. Make way more to you. All right, my man. And I'm gonna uh, roll up a joint, you know. <laughs> you know how I do. But um, well, if you roll a joint up the whole world. You feel me? I'm gonna. You know? Of course I will, but I'm gonna make it. This is this is gonna be tough to roll up. Pass that shit. You should just cut the shit for long hits. <laughs> It should be for bar hits, but um, <laughs> I just don't know what else, what else you want to talk about. You forgot all your topics that you've been telling me for weeks. You need to talk about. You want to talk about? You know what you want to talk about? And then we can take a <clears throat> break. <throat> if, if we can take a break if you want. Take a break in a second, but I want to talk about like sustainability, self-sustainability. Man, how easy it is for anybody in this country to like grow some vegetables, some herbs, some some outside your house. Man, I'm a city dude from DC. I never would have thought about having fucking chickens. But man, but you can't have no chickens with your people around. <laughs> you know, you don't sit. No, no, you have to have a, a certain a pen. You know what I'm saying? But no, 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 no. You gotta break in there and get them. No, bro, bro. It's a beautiful thing. It's not difficult to get a few chickens in a hen and get a, 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 an enclosure, a, a certain situation, and, and you never pay for eggs again. It's not expensive. And to, like, feed the chickens in your hands, it's not expensive. Yeah, how many times have I just said earlier, should we go half on a damn farm? But you're not trying to spend no money with black people. Funny guy, man. Yeah, I'm just going to Bro, I ain't got no damn land for a farm right now. <laughs> nah, but hey, out here, uh, 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 where we at? Man, I want to get back. I'm sure you're real, man. He gave me all that little song, I 
Se non si è detto che 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 si è When are we going to get together? Yo, the whole world get quiet on that one. The whole world got quiet on that one, dude. You know what I'm saying? You know what the straight people's union? I'm just saying, like, man, what? Don't let me talk to you in the legs. Don't let me talk to you in the legs. I love you. Why do you have a pussy pop composition like popular? What? Damn it! Make a pussy composition more popular? That's how it happened. <laughs> it happened. That's how it happened. Okay. Alright, it's done. I flipped. Okay. Consider it flipped. Alright, alright. Flip up, smack it, rub it down. Whoa, all see, right. see, see, see why the community formed? Because the statement's like that. That's why they had to make a community, bro. Because we had to put some of y'all niggas in the place where y'all gonna leak out into the streets. Where we was at. <laughs> See, I keep coming up with all new ways to slick triggers. You feel me? <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta stay on your P's and Q's, man, out here. We walking, it's a fine line between straight and bad. Alright. So we gonna let the dog out? No. Why would you let the dog out right, right this second? Nah, Why are you about to make hot dogs? Like, do that even make sense? So that I'm fucking with It do make sense. But it don't. Because he's gonna fucking be lit. You know he's gonna be lit, bro. We could be done potting though. It's up to you. We can take a break and he can come out and then we can put him away and then we can finish. We continue our thread. So so we talk about I don't know what we're talking about, bro. My brain matter is is continued to be decreasing. Into a uh, complete uh, just blabbering about the inner deepest thoughts that I've had up until we potted. So I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. And you too fucked up to know how to open this shit. That's why you really don't like it. Because you can't open it. That's why you don't like it. No, it's not a twisting. No, you just crack it, man. You don't. You crack oh, it and you get a clean crack and you don't worry about you don't have no foiling. Are you suspect, bro? No, are you are you clowning it? No, no, no yeah, I'm clowning it. It's already broke. Why are you clowning it? It's already broke. It's not bad though. It works. It doesn't work because you ain't use it right. That's all you had to do. But 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 but, but still, that shit. I, I broke that shit. You twisted it I didn't with twist this. It. No, I didn't twist it. With this I'm end, it's plastic. What the fuck? Who made a yeah. plastic bottle opener? Like, <laughs> this shit's gonna last. But, <laughs> like, but it's gonna last for a few bottles, nigga. The fuck? I, I get it. I get it. But like, it's a poor man's. That? It's a poor man's bottle opener. It opens a few bottles. Nah, bro. It's like a cool. It's meant for like opening like. It's meant for moments. It's like a plastic grip thing for opening like soda bottles. Okay. It's not really oh, so a beer bottle is tighter than a soda bottle for real? No, in your has, mind? It has two different sides. One side is for the beer bottles, which doesn't work. The other side is for that, which does work. 
I don't know what you just said. Sit the one fuck You mad because you ain't know how to use it and you used it wrong and it fucked you up and your mental health conditions. My, my, this is the the end of the conversation. What about the condition of the mental health? The end of the conversation is. Why is this in my hands? Because we promoting this. You, you, I'm not promoting this. You are. You hold it. What I'm saying is, (laughs) you cannot use a plastic. You hold it up like this. You're promoting it. This is a joke. A plastic ball opener. That's the whole fucking point of this conversation. It's plastic. (laughs) It's a ball opener. And that's a joke. How long will a plastic ball opener work? It works for a few beers, and then you get another one. That's how it works. Well, it's a cheap go. man's bottle opener. It's like a, it's like a lighter. You get one, run out, well, and get another one. That that was the thing that was clown. A smart person would just well, refill one five, lighter. I'm sorry. No, you're right. You're right. That's a good point. But there's people who don't do that. So hey, what are you gonna do? Hey, man, they got you. Don't be mad. They got you. Don't mad. Don't be mad that you bought the plastic bottle opener and now you want to clown it. Talking about some, how long is that supposed to work? You bought it, motherfucker. Did you buy it? I did. But well, now he's trying to put it on my dudes. <laughs> you know that was your <laughs> purchase. Only you house. would think of something clever like could, that. Could have been a friend. You left him that shit on the fridge. The fridge magnet. A fridge magnet. Maybe it wanted to be on your fridge. <laughs> Who knows, man? <laughs> Yo, what weed am I about to roll up? Am I rolling the bud that you just grew or what? No? You can. Um, um, oh, I would suggest that the weed to have uh, 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 on the table outside. <laughs> That's Damn. a more prepared. Damn. What's wrong with that? You know, I have a question. What's wrong? Um... All right, how important do you think it is these days to be self-sufficient? And, I mean, like, do you think the end times are coming? Do you think that doomsday preppers are right? Do you think that we should be ready for some sort of societal apocalypse, some sort of end of government, some sort of end of structure? Man... To be honest with you. Or do you think that this bliss that we're in right now, this this thing that we have that's called an economy and a social economic status, all this stupid shit that we allow the media to manipulate us on, like all that shit, like playing games, like the right to choose, the, the option to choose a side, like being able to do that right now is a, is a, is a fucking blessing. You know, do you think that it's going to come to a point where it's just man versus wild, kill or be killed, fucking strongest survive, or is it already like that? That was deep, but it's kind of already like that in an existential way. I don't know. I mean, no, you're asking a really good question. So that's a really good question. It's not good. Do you so, think we should be ready? Like, do you think we should stock up? All right, so, so, Is this like another pandemic coming? Here, 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 I'm going to give you like the middle ground. I'm going to give you the middle ground answer. No, first, why the middle ground? Why don't you just give no, me your, no, your no, answer? No. What is your answer? Oh, I'm giving you the whole spectrum. First okay, of all, okay. you can give me the whole spectrum. I'm going to give you the extreme <laughs> off the break. <laughs> And I'm going to give you the other extreme, and okay. then I'm going to give you the middle ground. Okay, okay. So, when, when the pandemic first started, man, <laughs> you know what's really funny? I'm going to offer this to the viewers. This might, might scare some people. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't scared yet. Scare yeah. me, but, all right, so, so as a mental health counselor for, for 20 years, uh, uh, one thing I did for a long time, I did a lot of like street outreach and um, street outreach, or just in general, you know. Um, what is that? You mean like just homeless? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like 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 homeless individuals on the street, like like might be um, afflicted with 
or you know dealing with certain mental health issues um that i can see like people passing them by like late at night like if, if i'm like if i don't know anyway there's a gentleman in uh prince george's county <clears throat> maryland a uh, 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 a guy uh, outside like a sub eleven where I grew up or not I'll say grew up. <laughs> my condo I had a condo in the Delphi <laughs> so you didn't grow up there you was an adult <laughs> well Delphi is like where I said Dakota Park I grew up in Dakota Park so that that's why I stopped myself. close close but but it may. Adelphi is not <laughs> Adelphi is a different fucking hood. But uh, anyway, that's another story. Uh, 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 uh. Man, this gentleman is a really great guy. He's a really nice guy. But he, you gonna bring it back to my question, right? You, you didn't forget it. Right? I'm talking about schizophrenia right now. Okay. Well, I'm talking about the whole Pussy on the chain wax. <laughs> what the hell did this right. happen? So this gentleman was sitting in front of Seven Eleven, talking about like the end of the world, world end, end of time. See what I'm saying? Yeah. This is before the pandemic. Um, but man, all right. So long story short, I became friends with him, and um, he's a really nice guy and seemed very intelligent. And he was very open about his mental health affliction. Um, he talked about he was never, you know, formally diagnosed schizophrenic, but you know, since a, a certain time in his like late adulthood, he's heard voices in his head. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go into too much details because like his yeah, yeah. is 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 dark. Oh. These voices tell him to harm himself in different ways. I, I don't need to go any further than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than the fact that, um, excuse me, really nice guy. If you ever met this guy, you would never know. Like, um, Damn. No, he's a really nice guy. That's crazy. I mean, seriously. Like, like he's so cool that you probably wouldn't even suspect that he had a mental health issue. Bro, can I just Is say that this? the problem? Can, can, can you say this? Like, honestly, like, I mean, schizophrenia is... It's tricky, man. It's tr well, it, 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 it's such a dark, it's such a, like, a, um, a negatively look upon thing or, like... A stigmatized. A stigmatized thing. And absolutely. Um, um, that, that's the word I was looking for. <clears throat> that, um, I mean... It's hard to get somebody to come out well, about that? Well, no, what I'm saying is... It's misunderstood in the fact that, like, as a counselor, I've worked with not just hundreds, thousands of clients on the uh, schizophrenia, autism, uh, Asperger's spectrum. It's a spectrum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 they can present. It's a, can, they can present in like many different ways. But um, man. The schizophrenics, I work with these clients. I mean, like, they're like the nicest people in the world. Yeah. Like, like, really. Like, I've like, noticed something about autistic like, like, people. That, like, the autistic people that I've met are so sweet and just into whatever they're into, whatever their specific thing is, that they're, whatever their hobby is, whatever their love is. They're into that thing, and they're into it in a way that almost makes me feel like I don't even, I'm not into anything like they are into whatever they're into. And it's like, um, I have a little envy when it comes to autistic people. I think I like envy, like being able to kind of, because no. I, I knew an autistic dude who loved radios and uh, antique radios, and he just collected radios, and he was just, bro, he didn't care about fashion. <laughs> you know, he didn't care about, Nothing. He cared about cats and radios. Not to get too personal, but like, or about like hygiene. He was good with hygiene. Like he took baths and all that, but he still kind of had sometimes. You know, he could get an odor to him, or he could have dandruff. Whatever. 
but he's just a he's a nerd, so it's kind of like, hey, man. I mean, at the end of the day, he's not an active person. He's not outside running around. He's in his room, you know, all day. Like he's back and forth from the room to the kitchen to the, you know, he's not like playing sports. So if he showers once a day, I mean, I guess that's kind of normal. Yeah. That's absolutely. pretty much normal. Absolutely. So it's like, but look, though, like, I'm just saying, like, watching, like, to listen to, if you gave him a chance and let him talk about a radio, I'm telling you, you would grow almost a fascination for that shit. Because it's like, damn, like, you know the history. He know why this design is like this. He know, he know when they invented this button right here, like when they had to install this, like he know what this is for. He know what that is for. He can take it apart and put it back together. Like, and it's like, he don't care about how he look right now. His pants is high waters. Bro. They're high waters. In the hood, on the block, so- you can't be smart. And not cool, bro. Like you gotta be cool. I don't. I don't. I don't think the general public understands. So I kind of envy the, the autism in a sense because he gets this reason to 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 justify his intelligence, and it's like um, sound crazy. You never heard nobody say that, but it's like my intelligence. People don't know what to do with it because they like, why are you not cool though? Like why are you not you black? You're supposed to still be hip. Like, where's the, where's your hipness? Like, we get what you're talking about, but where's your cool? Where's your swag? And I'm like, like, I have it, but I don't have it for you, I guess, because you want it in a black way. Like, you want it in such a way, such a specific way. Like, are you a performer? I'm, I'm like, not that type of black person. Like, like, you want me to perform for you. That's what it always is. It's always uh-huh. the performance. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, man. Um, uh, 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 in your experience, do you think that um, do you think that the end times are here, man? That's what I was asking do you, about. Do I think that what? Do you think that that dude was right, the schizophrenic dude? Do you think he was right about the end time? Are we? Oh my gosh! She <laughs> was scary, man. It's like man. This is why. I, this is my question, and you forgot my question. All you say is everything this guy's predicted has been right. So he used to make predictions to you? Man, he only made like one crazy random. What prediction? All right, so like. What did he predict? <laughs> bro. And when he predicted? He predicted COVID. But I predicted COVID. No, no, no. You know what I told somebody on the podcast? Bro, my ex, bro, bro, this is. Somebody asked that something was going to happen that bro. affects everybody. Bro. And it puts us all in the same situation. And we're going to realize who it, the actual problem is. And it's not us. And we will stop, we'll stop fighting each other. And realize for one second that we have a common enemy. And I don't know what it's going to be to happen. I don't know what it's going to be. When it's going to be. And she broke up with me. And then the pandemic happened. I said, bitch. You fucked up because I told you, told you this shit was coming. Now you don't know what to do. Chicken with your head cut off. But anyway, um, bro, how you predict COVID? All right. So he didn't just predict COVID. He predicted a financial collapse after COVID. How could you not predict that? That's like obvious. Bro. People ain't get to go to work. It's gonna be a financial collapse. There is a potential financial collapse. We gave money to Ukraine when we needed it. Bro, fuck. You don't think a financial collapse is coming? No, it, it's worse than that. Bro, it's what the one thing that it's like our fucking our, like our, our our real estate market. Whatever happened in like two thousand like eight, you know what I'm saying? If this shit happens again, it could be. You know what I felt like? I felt like niggas was getting too much money, and then the pandemic happened. I feel like the government did this 
or whoever did this, whatever it was planned because of the, the just, you know, I started saying, it was like I was using Wix to have a website and to do different things and be a business owner, entrepreneur for a while. Okay. Then I started seeing ads for all the software and stuff that I used to use to run my business. So then I started realizing that it became trending to be an entrepreneur and people were selling now to entrepreneurs. People were going into business, making businesses to make products to sell to entrepreneurs. Then that even, that's all Wix was selling to. Grow, you want to grow a business? Do this. And that was the booming in 2019. 2018, everything was entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Everybody had a business, little side hustle. Everybody was selling something on Instagram. Everybody was shop, shop, shop. <laughs> boom! Pandemic. Shut all that shit down. PPP loan. Boom. Like, what you gonna do? Like, I feel like every time something starts, it's always something to stop it. Can't nothing go past a certain point. It always stays within this certain playing field. Reality for some reason. It doesn't fall too far off the page. In 2019, we was getting real creative. We was drawing castles. They said, no, nigga, your building can't go but so high. Maybe that's just a conspiracy theory. No, I mean, inflation... It was so weird how much money people were getting right before this pandemic, though, Dale. Your average person was happy. All right. But you know what, bro? Can I say this right now? How fucked up times are, like, between now and last year? And, like, maybe, uh, man, because the critics might not say, like, not fucked up. Like, damn, bro. The bus I used to help my friend move to Florida, you know what I'm saying? The only reason we did that shit is because the diesel is like not expensive right now. It's really fucking cheap. Bro. How much? Like a dollar fifty cheaper a gallon or a dollar than like if when I when when I tried to help help you move last summer. Yeah. Bro, if we use my bus, no fucking problem. Like, like, bro, the gas, no bullshit, would have been like round trip, like a thousand bucks versus like two. Th- I mean, that was the budget too. Bro, I mean, really. <laughs> so like. I found like a cool, I cool, found a cool fucking thing. Like Google, like like if anybody is on a long ass road trip, look for gas on Google. Not even Google Maps. Where I guess Google Maps, but a cool function. They'll show you the gas prices of gas stations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And be smart about that shit because along the way. There were so many times where, like, I was just gonna stop at like a popular truck stop or mm-hmm. like a popular city, and I'm looking at the diesel prices versus going like 20, 30 miles yeah. away from that shit, bro. We're, we're talking about like differences of like 30, 40, 50 cents a gallon. Huge. When you're in a big ass diesel fucking uh bus truck and that's because of the financial crisis that your crackhead friend predicted so when he predicted it you believed it oh bro what other reason what, what, what was the reason what, what's the reason for this what's the reason for this though? What, 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 but do you do you believe there's a reason for this crisis what is the reason the pandemic well but what is the reason for the pandemic well a certain pandemic just popping up is like like you said what was the reason for it do you think it was do you think the government even had the option to avoid it i mean who knows as far as the aspect of he gotta go get his glizzies y'all he loved his wieners <laughs> fuck you No, these are not mine. Uh, these these are yours, my friend. Pause, man. 
<laughs> you should have set me up, though. <laughs> Sir, I don't have a bunch of stuff. Some, uh, this man only has got buns. We out here doing bad, man. Getting to that point there. What's the point? We're going to have to close out this point and wrap it up. <laughs> so I can edit this shit. We could do another one tomorrow, though. If you down, because you know how you don't like the pod with me. You be chugging, ducking and chucking and driving. I'm fucking with you. But no, nah, man, I gotta fucking chop this shit up. It's about to be so fucking hard. You know the best thing. Um, come on, let's keep talking, man. Like, like what's, what's going on, bro? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't part of me. You asking me what's going on, and I'm asking you what's going on. I still have to, uh, we gotta get to what we've been trying to talk about since we fucking started, probably. So the, 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 sometimes we're like the, the, the top can just fall from a mud. That's what I'm saying. Bro. I'm right now, it's just not one of the time. Ain't no force of the door. You want to move? You move? Yes, sir. I'm going to toast it here. Okay. All right, I'll take one toast. <laughs> All right, we need his hat. I said, you know, I to, you ain't toast the doors? Well, you ain't have no hot dog. Bro, no, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna eat in, in a minute. You know, I'm not grateful still. There's no more beers. How are you gonna drink one? Well, I'm gonna, well, I still need to cook more hot dogs. Come on, what is mine? That's what I'm saying. What you talking about? Wait, you just took me right out. Bro, what you doing? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to get you straight. I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> you telling me the spy? I'm like, what are you piling about? You piling about the fact that you can't keep up with the Lizzie count? Like, where is he? Is he? Who is he? Uh oh. There we go. This man said he made me two hot dogs. I did want to, and you eating it. You ain't make you know. That's what happened. You trying to take mine? I, I got plenty more, bro. I made two for you. <laughs> the rock ain't my hot dog. You can eat that one. I'm hot dog, but you took it. I got more coming, man. Damn it! I ain't taking shit. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to make me, man. There you go. Did, y'all. I'm about to pop two more in, man. What's a black pause? <laughs> I'm glad you put no mustard on there, man. In case you didn't want no mustard. <laughs> hey, you just gonna look too fast for me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. So good, man. Why not show podcast? Appreciate your help. <laughs>